Imagine a world where healthcare systems operate without the assistance of information technology. Difficult, isn't it? In today's digital age, it's almost inconceivable to think of any sector operating without the aid of IT systems, and healthcare is no exception. The advent of healthcare informatics has revolutionized the way we approach health and wellness, creating a seamless bridge between medical knowledge and technology. At the very heart of healthcare informatics lie IT systems, serving as the backbone that supports, streamlines, and optimizes healthcare operations. These systems are deployed across various environments, each playing a distinct role in their development, testing, and functioning. Firstly, we have the development environment. This is the bustling hub where developers work tirelessly to create new features and make changes to the system. It's the initial stage, the birthplace of software development, where ideas are brought to life. Next, we segue into the system integration testing. This is where we ensure that all the pieces of the puzzle fit together perfectly. The SIT environment is dedicated to testing system integration, checking that the message is received as expected, and all mandatory fields are filled correctly. Then comes the user acceptance testing, or UAT environment. This is where end users get to validate the system's usability and effectiveness. It's like a test drive, ensuring all placeholders on the screen match the expected clinical information from the message. This is followed by the staging environment, which is the gold copy of the solution before it moves to production. It's like the final dress rehearsal before the big show, allowing organizations to anticipate any potential hiccups during the transition to production. Finally, we have the production environment, the grand stage where the system is made available for end users, aiming for a high availability of 99.99%. And in the event of a disaster or system failure, we have the disaster recovery environment, a mirrored copy of the production environment for swift recovery. Before we delve into these environments, it's important to remember that each one plays a crucial role in ensuring the smooth functioning of healthcare informatics. So let's embark on this enlightening journey together, unlocking the mysteries of healthcare informatics and IT systems. Our journey through the deployment of IT systems begins with the development environment. Picture a bustling virtual construction site, this is the development environment in the realm of healthcare informatics. It's the initial stage where the magic happens, where software development takes place. Here, developers, akin to architects and builders, work diligently, chipping away at coding blocks, crafting new features, and making changes to the system. The development environment is a sandbox. It's a place for experimentation, for trying out new things without the fear of breaking the system. It's a cocoon that safeguards the rest of the IT infrastructure from any potential bugs or issues that might arise during the development process. Imagine you're a developer. You're not just creating code, you're shaping a tool that will help healthcare professionals make informed decisions, improve patient care, and potentially save lives. It's a responsibility that requires precision, creativity, and a deep understanding of both technology and healthcare practices. In this realm, developers work on distinct versions of the software, each one a potential improvement or a new feature. Once they're happy with their creation, it's time for it to leave the nest. But it doesn't go straight into the wild. Oh no, it's not ready for that yet. It has to prove it can function as expected, and for that, it needs to pass through several testing environments. The development environment is not just about coding, it's about collaboration, about developers working together sharing ideas, and solving problems. It's about iterative refinement, where each version is better than the last. It's about striving for perfection, knowing that in healthcare, even the smallest error can have significant consequences. In essence, the development environment is the birthplace of innovative features and system improvements. It's where ideas come to life, where concepts become tangible, where the first steps towards better healthcare informatics are taken. It's the beginning of a journey, a journey that leads through various stages of testing and refinement, all the way to the final destination, the production environment. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's appreciate the creative chaos and tireless innovation that the development environment represents. Once development is complete, it's time to put the system through rigorous testing in the system integration testing environment. Picture a well-oiled machine where every cog, every gear, every single piece works in harmony to churn out a desired outcome. 
This is what the System Integration Testing or SIT environment aims to achieve for healthcare IT systems. The SIT environment is like the control room where we ensure the integration engine is tuned to perfection. It's all about making sure the engine receives the message as expected and sends acknowledgments with all the necessary fields filled with the correct data types. Imagine a symphony of data exchanges where information is passed between components of the system, each interacting and responding in a precise, predetermined way. This is the essence of the SIT environment, a place where we test the system's ability to integrate all its parts and functions. But it's not just about whether the system works, it's about how well it works. We need to ensure that every mandatory field in the message is filled, that every component is communicating properly, and that the system as a whole is functioning seamlessly. Think of the SIT environment as a rigorous quality check. It's there to ensure that the system isn't just functioning, but functioning at its best, with all elements integrating smoothly. It's a bit like rehearsing a play before the big night. The cast and crew run through the script, ironing out any wrinkles, making sure every line, every scene, every act comes together flawlessly. In this environment, we're not just testing the system's ability to work, we're testing its ability to work as a unified whole. And this is crucial, because in healthcare informatics, where lives are at stake, there's no room for error. Every piece of information, every data exchange, every function must be accurate, reliable, and timely. The SIT environment is crucial for maintaining the integrity of the system and ensuring seamless integration. It's the quality assurance gatekeeper, ensuring that the system is ready to move on to the next stage the user acceptance testing environment, where it will be scrutinized from the end user's perspective. But that's a story for another time. For now, remember, the SIT environment is where we make sure the system is not just functional, but integrated and efficient. After successful system integration testing, we move to the user acceptance testing environment. This next phase in our journey is a critical one as it's here that the technology we've been developing is put to the test in a way that mimics real-world usage. Let's delve into the intricacies of the User Acceptance Testing, or UAT, environment. This is where we validate that all placeholders on the screen display the expected clinical information from the message. We're not just checking for correct data types and ensuring all mandatory fields are filled, but we're also looking at how the system presents information to the end user. Think of the UAT environment as a rehearsal before the final show. It's a chance to run through every scenario, every possible interaction, to ensure that when the end user engages with the system, the experience is seamless, intuitive, and efficient. It's about more than just functionality, it's about usability. The importance of the UAT environment from the end user's perspective cannot be overstated. This is the point where we get to see the system through their eyes. We get to understand how they interact with it, what works for them and what doesn't. It's not just about identifying bugs or system errors, it's about understanding the user experience. And that's a crucial component in ensuring the system's ultimate success. The UAT environment allows us to make necessary adjustments based on the feedback we receive. It's a dynamic interactive process that is integral to the development life cycle. It's about fine tuning the system, refining it until it meets the exact needs of the end users. So while the UAT environment may not have the same technical complexity as the system integration testing or the development environment, its importance lies in its focus on the human element. It's about ensuring that the system is not just technically sound, but also user-friendly and effective. In essence, the UAT environment is where we ensure that the system is ready to be deployed in the real world. It's where we make sure that all the hard work put into developing and integrating the system translates into a tool that is both usable and effective for the end users. With user acceptance confirmed, we're ready to move towards the final stages, the staging and production environments. The staging environment is like the dress rehearsal before the grand premiere. It's the gold copy of the solution before it moves into the limelight of production. This environment is critical as it allows us to simulate the deployment that will occur in the production environment. Here, we can identify any potential issues or roadblocks that might occur during the actual production deployment. But the staging environment does more than just test the waters. It also provides valuable data, 
like the time taken for the move to staging and the elements that need to be manually built. These insights are crucial for a smooth transition to production. If necessary, they can also help in announcing any downtime that might occur during the transition. Once the solution has passed the staging environment, it's ready for the big show, the production environment. This is where the system finally becomes available for end users. The aim here is high availability, with a target of 99.99%. This means the system is designed to be available and operational nearly all of the time, minimizing any potential downtime. The production environment is typically deployed over multiple nodes. This is done to balance the client load using a method known as load balancing. It's a bit like a traffic management system for data, ensuring that no single node is overwhelmed with requests and the system runs smoothly and efficiently. But what happens if disaster strikes? If there's a system failure or a catastrophic event, how do we ensure that the system can be recovered and operation resumed with minimal disruption? This is where the disaster recovery environment comes into play. This environment is a mirrored copy of the production environment. It's like a safety net, ready to take over if the production environment is compromised. In essence, the staging and production environments are the final steps in ensuring that the system is ready for deployment and use. They are the culmination of all the hard work done in the development, system integration testing, and user acceptance testing environments. It's where the system is polished to perfection and then finally unveiled to the end users. Remember, this is a basic structure, and the exact setup can vary from one healthcare organization to another, depending on their specific needs and strategies. However, these environments, development system integration testing, user acceptance testing, staging and production, form the foundation of deploying IT systems in healthcare informatics. The staging and production environments are the final steps in ensuring the system is ready for deployment and use. And with that, we're ready to take our system live, confident in the knowledge that we've done everything we can to ensure its success. As we reach the end of our journey, it's important to reflect on the significance of each environment in the deployment of IT systems in healthcare informatics. Let's recap our exploration. We kicked off with the development environment, the creative hub where ideas are born. Here, developers work on new features and make changes to the system. It's the first step in the journey where the foundation of the software is laid. Next, we dove into the system integration testing. This is the testing ground where the system's integration is rigorously examined. It's the checkpoint that ensures the integration engine is receiving messages as expected, and all mandatory fields are filled, ensuring there are no hiccups in communication. Then, we scrutinize the user acceptance testing or UAT environment. This is where end users validate the system, ensuring that all placeholders on the screen correspond with the expected clinical information from the message. It's a pivotal environment as it confirms that the system meets the usability and effectiveness requirements from the end user's perspective. Our journey then led us to the staging environment, the gold copy of the solution before it moves to production. It provides invaluable insights into the time taken to move to staging and what needs to be built manually. This information is crucial to ensure a smooth transition to production and to announce downtime if necessary. Finally, we landed in the production environment, the final destination where the system is available for end users. Here, the aim is for a high availability of 99.99% with multiple nodes balancing the client load using a load balancer. In case of a disaster or system failure, the system can be recovered from the disaster recovery environment, a mirrored copy of the production environment. In the world of healthcare informatics, each environment in the deployment of IT systems plays a crucial role in ensuring the efficient and effective operation of healthcare systems. Now, you're equipped with the knowledge to appreciate the complexity and importance of IT systems in healthcare.